Hey, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. So, in the previous video, we have discussed paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Today, there is a nice mnemonic for that. Okay, this mnemonic is kind of religious or religion related. So, in ancient Judaism, pigs are deemed unclean. Okay, next, let's go to traditional Christianity. Young men who develop nocturnal emissions overnight should not go to church the next morning. Nocturnal emissions don't go to church next day. Okay, let's go to the church. In the ancient Greek, the word for church is ecclesia. Ecclesia means a congregation or a church. And of course, you know that the church believes in the ancient five books of Moses, known as the Torah in the Old Testament. What does this have to do with PNH? Let's see. Okay, the pig is the pyga gene. The pig has two ears for CD55 and CD59. Those are missing in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. A very reliable test is called the HAM test. This is more reliable than the sucrose hemolysis test. So the HAM test is nice. Next, let's go to nocturnal. Instead of nocturnal emissions, let's write paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. And now to church or ecclesia. So we have ecclesumab, ecclesumab, and since the church believe in the five books of Moses, ecclesumab is an antibody to C5 complement. Wow, that's nice. So remember, in ancient tradition, when you get nocturnal emissions, you are not clean and you shouldn't go to church next day. And in nocturnal hemoglobinuria, you should get eclizumab. Okay? We're not promoting nor criticizing any religion. It is just a mnemonic to help you remember it. It has worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, then forget it. And see you soon. Stay safe and study hard. Medicosis perfectionalis.